Good. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Tonight is my favorite night. I always say that, but it's always true. And we are going to talk about stories of hope. I have sweet three sweet friends of mine who are going to be sharing their stories um, of hope and how these products in this business have, have really helped them. Y'all, now more than ever during this crazy time, we have got to share our hope with others, um, uh, chances for, for so many people to have their health and finances restored. Um, so I'm so proud of these girls for sharing and I'm so excited to hear more of their story in detail. Um, first, we are gonna hear from Crystal and um, she is my sweet friend. Um, she's got three boys. Um, she is a um, homeschool mom, she's a pastor's wife and a fitness instructor. So we are excited to have her. So Crystal, take it away. Awesome, thank you so much, Lisa. Um, I feel like we all need to be announced every morning when we wake up, like Crystal is here. <laughs> Not really, but it would be really motivational, I feel like. Um, I'm excited to be here with you guys tonight. Um, I um, want to just tell you about my story. Um, I've, I really do feel like it's just been such, brought such great hope to myself, my family. Um, I lived my whole life, um, I think just really unaware of how unhealthy I was. Um, I've been a fitness instructor for, gosh, three and a half years now. Um, I always have worked out and ate, eaten pretty healthy, I always felt like. Um, but I always had a problem with sugar addiction. Um, but before all of this, before adulthood, I, I wanna go back to like when I was in high school because that's when I really remember um, just noticing not feeling great all the time. Um, I always needed a ton of sleep. I required a lot of sleep. Like I'm talking like 10 hours. And if I didn't get 10 hours of sleep, I always felt run down and exhausted. Um, and then I always ended up sick at the end of it. Um, so if I didn't get lots of sleep, I always ended up that way. Um, and with that, um, so I, I ended up sleeping a lot never feeling rested, always sick. Um, and then fast forward to like, whenever I met my husband, I have no joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> I should just talk. Um, I fast forward to my, when I met my husband, um, he has been in holistic health um, environments for a long time. And so he was really knowledgeable about uh, vitamins and herbs. And so um, we started dating and I was sick a lot. And he's like, babe, you really need a multivitamin. Do you take any vitamins? And I was like, <laughs> What's a vitamin? I mean, obviously I knew what a vitamin was, but I never took them. So I started trying supplementation and um, trying to like, I thought I just needed to boost my immune system with vitamin C. And whenever I was run down, but, you know, echinacea, echinacea golden seal to fight off colds or whatever was coming my way. I mean, nothing ever helped. Um, we would get sick at the same time um, and he would start pumping me full of, of, you know, herbs or whatever. And, um, I would still always get sick and he could fight it off. And so I finally just felt like just resolved to the fact that like, this is just who I am. I have a really terrible immune system and I catch everything and I'm just tired. I'm just, it's just who I am. <laughs> so then fast forward to having kids. Um, you guys know, I mean, if you're parents at all or have kids or been around kids, you just, your sleep just, you just don't get much. So, add on extra exhaustion, um, extra things to do. So I was super tired, um, run down and I got everything that my kids brought home. I mean, a cold, they got it. I got it. The flu, they got it. I got it. Stomach bugs. I mean, I just, if I heard someone had thrown up the week before, you know, like they're perfectly fine to be in public, you know, I would get sick. I would just, I would get everything and it was exhausting. Um, and then as a mom, when you're run down and sick, you can't ever rest. So it was just like this cycle I was constantly living in. Um, so then, um, Fast forward to meeting my friend Holly, who introduced me to Plexus and asked me to try the supplements. Um, I remember she came to me and I was like, oh, I don't really know that this is for me. So I, I, um, I thought it was just weight loss and like supplements. And I just, I was never a person that wanted to just take dietary things to help just lose weight. So I was like, well, let me talk to my husband because remember he had all this background of holistic health and let me just see what he thinks. So that was like my out, you know, like Chad's gonna look at all the ingredients and be like, mm, these really aren't that great. And I'd be like, I'm sorry, Holly, I don't think it's for me. Um, but that wasn't the case. He looked at 
I mean, you guys, like he nerds out over it and I love him for it. But he looked at every ingredient and all of the blends and he was like, these are really great vitamins like you could at least try the multivitamin and I was like dang it <laughs> so um and you know just to add insult to injury I guess I don't know I had, was down to like just a few days of multivitamins left in my bottle so I told Holly I'm like okay we need a probiotic neither one of us are on them I know we need to be on them so we need a good probiotic and I need a multivitamin back in my life so I ordered those things I got them in the multivitamin I noticed right away I I just felt like I had a little bit more umph you know I mean it's not like I can do all the things and stay up all night no it wasn't like that but I did feel better so a few weeks into it I was lucky enough to be around more plexus people and I started learning about what triplex, which is our main like kind of thing, you know, if you had to hang our, hang our hat on one thing, it's our triplex, I feel like. Um, maybe it's just because it works so good for me. But um, I learned more about what it did for you and that it was to clean out your gut and get you healthy. And then I started learning about how your immune system is tied to your gut health. And I thought, I talked to my husband, I'm like, I think that maybe I should try this. So he was like, go for it. So I went all in, I stayed on the multivitamin because I felt good, and I added just the two other supplements, which was Slim, our pink drink, um, our bio cleanse, which, I mean, who knew I needed that, but praise the Lord, <laughs> I mean, um, and then still the probiotics. So I started all four of those, really, but those three main things together, and you guys, within the week, um, I, my sugar cravings were just like gone. It was a miracle um, because before that I was so addicted after, after my third baby, I felt like I was so addicted. I couldn't just cut the cravings. And so um, that added to so many different things before I started all these, a few other things I want to mention because it's not just my immune health that it's helped. Um, I, I, my hormones, you guys were just like roller coaster. I was emotional. I've always been a pretty steady, like even keeled person, but I was super emotional. I was waking up in the middle of the night, drenching in sweat. I was positive. I was premenopausal <laughs> and I was like 31 years old at the time. And so, um, that, and then I had, um, what was the other thing? Oh, like, I mean, like no sex drive. I know that's kind of like, but really like none. So that was causing some strain on our marriage. Um, and then also um, just extra like tummy weight that wouldn't go away. And so once I started Triplex and all of those four supplements together, um, my sugar cravings were gone. I did not, I don't even like the taste of, I used to love Dr. Pepper. I don't even like the taste of Dr. Pepper anymore because the sugar cravings have just diminished so much. Um, I started craving fruit. Um, I, I was, I love coffee. I still do, but I used to drink it all day and now I'm like two cups and I'm, I'm out. I'm like, I'm good. Um, and all I want is water. And so it started transforming this sugar craving that I was feeding in my body. My tummy weight and my inflammation started to just disappear. Um, my hormones balanced, you guys. I feel like more like my young adult high school self with my hormones, my periods. Um, I am not, I occasionally I'll wake up sweaty, <laughs> oh, but it's like very few and far between. Um, and I, um, it was about this time last year, I realized um, my husband and I had traveled like back to back to back, like four weeks in a row, like a full month of traveling airports, driving in the car. You know how that is on your body and your sleep. You don't sleep well, you're not home um, in the airport around everybody's germs. And I got home after those four weeks and I remember being super tired. I was laying about the kids just, you know, and um, a telltale sign for me is my lymph nodes always get swollen. And I looked at Chad and I was like, my lymph nodes are not swollen and we have just been going nonstop. I've been getting very little sleep. We've been up early, been going long, 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 and I never got sick from it. And so you guys, it's, it's all of those things, but the fact that that one trip is what spurred this. Okay. Like I hadn't caught a cold. I hadn't caught flu. My kids had stomach bugs. I would have one kid get stomach bug and nobody else would, which, so that means my whole family is now being affected because of probiotics and our great kids multivitamin. Um, and so our just, our immune health has just like flourished. And I just really feel like it's been restored and that has given me optimal, you know, health and just being able to be happy and just feel normal again. Um, 
So I think that's everything. I feel like I just fired lots of stuff at you guys, but I'm just so grateful for being able to feel my best. And I feel like I'm giving my family my best. And so that comes from being able to feel rested, being able to just feel like you have energy and not being sick all the time. And so I'm so grateful. So thanks so much for listening. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys have. Um, shoot them at me. Um, and I can't wait to spend the rest of this time with you. Thank you so much, Crystal. Um, I don't know about y'all, but um, can you see yourself? Can you hear her talk and it resonate with you something? And if it doesn't with you now, because you've already been on the products, it doesn't, um, it doesn't resonate with what you're going through now. Can you think about the person that you were, the mom that you were, the wife that you were? And can you think about one other person in your life that this sounds like? A best friend, a mom, a sister? Because I don't know about y'all, but when I get with my girlfriends, the first thing we do, and I don't know why my husband and his friends don't do this. They just don't that I know of. But we talk about our woes and our stressors and my kids this and my job that and my, you know, husband this and, you know, all of our woes. And um, so I think that sometimes when we all talk about all the things that are affecting us negatively and that's who we're surrounding ourselves with, we think that it's normal. We think that that's just you know, everybody else is going through it. So that's just, you know, like you said, that's just, that's just who I am now. That's your new normal. But it's nice to be able to go back to the normal, healthy, younger version of you. Um, even after having three kids and, and all the, all the fun things. So thank you for sharing. Um, I definitely, um, heard myself in your story. Um, you know, preplexes. So, um, I'm so glad that you found some relief there for sure. All right, so next we are going to hear from sweet Christy. Oh, y'all. I love Megan and Crystal, but Christy has a little special place. She is on my team, and um, I'm just so proud of her and um, just love her story, love her heart for sharing. And so y'all enjoy her while she shares. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Lisa. Um, Crystal, I can relate to every single thing that you said. I mean, oh, my goodness. Y'all, um, whoever invited you here to hear these stories, um, like Lisa said, just think of those people that, you know, you may not even know they're struggling. And that was one of those people. I mean, looking back, I was one that was sick all the time. My main focus, my main struggle was chronic sinusitis. So if you know anybody that struggles with chronic sinusitis, um, it's awful. And you're just constantly sick. You feel like you have the flu. Um, I also struggled with chronic um, urinary infections. I mean, I constantly stayed sick with those also and um, just constantly having to get medicine for that. I kept cranberry juice in my fridge. Um, I know in college, my roommates, um, and one of my roommates is on here. I don't know, Shelly, do you remember? <laughs> I actually kept cranberry juice in the fridge all the time. I had to drink it all the time because I would get a UTI and I still would get them. Um, but never could figure out, you know, what is going on. Um, the sickness started just kind of getting more frequent. The chronic sinus, I, I would go to um, specialist. I would go to, um, you know, the ENT. I was constantly at the doctor just kind of as I got older and just, you know, I'm like, I don't understand. Why do I keep getting this? Like, why am I staying sick? I started, um, you know, searching online. I'm like, you know, what is this? I found something about leaky gut. And I'm like, okay, I think I've got leaky gut. I had been praying for answers, y'all. I had been praying. I'm like, I think I got leaky gut. I went into my doctor um, and she laughed at me. She's like, there's no such thing. You know, that's not a real thing. And I was like, ah, like it just really defeated me. And I thought I had figured it out. Well, I had, you know, like I said, I'd been praying for answers. I knew that you know, all these things I was struggling with was not normal. I mean, even the ENT said, you know, your white blood cell count is getting low. You should really get that checked out. And I was like, you know, uh, what do I do? I, I just, you know, nobody could help me. It was just miserable. And lo and behold, sweet Lisa starts posting about Plexus on her Facebook and she had struggled with chronic sinus issues. And I was like, okay, I know Lisa, you know, she's a nurse, you know, trust her, you know, we had anatomy and physiology together. I mean, I know this girl. Um, I reached out to her. I'm like, you know, what is this plexus stuff? 
And she told me, she's like, look, it's really helped me a lot. You know, yes, you should definitely check it out. I mean, I had tried every single thing. I even had a neighbor bringing me bone broth. Like uh, she was bringing me all kinds of probiotics. You know, I was trying everything y'all and just nothing was helping me. And literally I joined to get the cheapest price. I did not tell my husband, you know, I don't guarantee, you know, recommend that. But um, I was just like, you know, I hadn't, you know, give me the cheapest price. And anyway, and um, y'all within four days, it's like, I didn't realize I had brain fog and it's like the sun came out. I was just like, oh my gosh, I have energy. I had two little boys at the time, you know, I have two little boys. They were a lot younger at the time. So they were very active. I was always wanting to sleep, take naps, you know, please y'all slow down. Cause mama can't keep going. Um, it was miserable, but y'all the sun came, the light came out, the brain fog was gone. I had energy again. I started walking. I started exercising. Um, Y'all, I have not had a urinary infection ever since I started Plexus. <laughs> That's been like almost five years ago in May. Um, I'm staying well. I am, I mean, I had no idea so much was related to gut health. And, you know, I had been praying and it gives me chills, y'all. Like I had really, I just been praying to God, like, you know, I should not be feeling like I'm 80 years old. And, you know, he sent Lisa to, for me to see that, for me to try Plexus, and I'll forever be grateful. Um, but y'all, it has transformed my life. Probably a list of 50 other things are gone. Like Crystal named everything I was struggling with on top of the chronic sinus. I had sinus surgery, didn't help. I was getting sick as the packing was coming out. It was bad. Um, but y'all, anyway, like it just literally changed my life. I just, you know, just if you're on this call, then it's for a reason and you will be blessed. If you have not tried Plexus, like give it a shot. You have nothing to lose. I mean, there's so much hope in these products, in these supplements. I mean, just so much hope and so much hope you can give others. That is so true. Thank you for sharing that, Christy. Um, I think that a lot of people um, after they struggle for so long, they just feel like, well, this is who I am. Just like Crystal was saying. And whenever you've had surgery, you think, well, that's the best remedy of surgery. I had two sinus surgeries. I had two upper GIs, two colonoscopies, all the things in my twenties. And, um, that was a long time ago. <laughs> um, but because of the people around you, no one is telling you that's not the best way everybody around you is doing the same thing. They're taking prescriptions and they're having surgeries and they're suffering and they're struggling with the same things. So you almost feel comforted in the fact that, well, everybody else is, you know, going through the same thing. We didn't know what we didn't know, you know? <laughs> One more thing, Lisa. Yes. Like, I had been gaining weight and I could not figure out why. Like I was just gaining weight. I was like, you know, I was still trying to do the things before I started Plexus and like, once I started triplex, it just started coming off. Like it literally is just, everything is so related. So I had to add that because that was a struggle I was really dealing with and it was getting really depressing on top of everything else. Right. And I'm glad that you shared that. Um, you lost like four pounds in a week. Is that what you told me the first week? Am I making that up? I think it was seven pounds the first week. I mean, literally I had so much inflammation mm -hmm. and weight, it just, yeah. That's amazing. Um, uh, and I forgot to tell y'all that Christy is also a mom of two boys. She, she mentioned that, but, and she's a wife and y'all, she's a dental hygienist and she was able to retire early, obviously, cause she's young and beautiful and still glowing in her youth. Um, but she was a dental hygienist. And so coming from the healthcare field, she also can attest to the fact that, you know, even being in healthcare, you know, we don't know all of these natural ways that our first kind of, I think that maybe dentists have a, maybe a more natural route, maybe, um, because, you know, oral care affects so much I'm learning. Um, but, um, still in the medical field, you know, I mean, no one probably said before you get a sinus surgery, try this. Cause no one told me, no one suggested that to me. Did they suggest that to you before you got surgery to try something else? Oh no, that was the only option. I mean, right. The only option. Yeah. And right. that was where I wanted to get help. And then, like I said, there's nothing worse than the packing your heal, you know, healing and getting sick all over again. That's right. Yeah. That's, it's crazy. Oh, I'm so glad we found a better way. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing sweet friend. Yeah. Um, 
Okay, so um, last but certainly not least is Sweet Megan. And y'all, mm -hmm. that is not a wig on her head, y'all. That is her hair. <laughs> That is her hair. And if you want to know how she gets those gorgeous locks, you're going to have to message her because I don't know how she does it, y'all. It is, it is like unicorn feathers up there. It's beautiful. That <laughs> um, sweet Megan is a wife. She's a mom to a girl and a boy. She's got some diversity there. Um, she is a makeup artist, which I know you probably um, would, would not – disagree with that because look how gorgeous her face is um and she is um a vocal coach a vocal teacher so that's pretty awesome so um welcome megan share with us your, your hope friend oh thanks for having me um i appreciate it um my story is interesting just like everybody else's um I, sometimes i get emotional in the process so i'm gonna try not to do that but um it's kind of a sad story, but just hang with me. Um, anyway, okay, so in, in 2015, um, 28 days in, my mother-in-law passed away suddenly, age 59, as um, pulmonary embolism, as a result of using um, a prescription drug that she had been on for two years. It is still on the market, and um, just the mounting effects of this particular drug caused the embolism and they didn't catch it uh, before she passed away. So I'll try to make this quick. Um, two weeks later, we found out we were pregnant. Um, we were totally surprised, weren't trying. Um, and then my dad at this point had been suffering for 10 years with a disease that was originally diagnosed as Parkinson's disease and then later diagnosed as multiple systems atrophy. Most people have no idea what I'm talking about when I say that, praise the Lord, because it's really bad one. It's a lot like ALS, but it moves more slowly. Um, so the people who, who have that, it, it's longer suffering, um, and it's very difficult to, to walk through. Um, but anyway, um, so we found out we were pregnant, and then, Maybe eight or nine weeks later, dad went into the hospital on Friday. We found out we miscarried the same day. Then Tuesday, I had a DNC. And then Friday, dad died. So in the months following, uh, I became very depressed. And that's something, y'all, if you have ever dealt with depression, anxiety, if you're on this call tonight, I know you have said to yourself in your lifetime, I will never go through that. I never thought I'd go through it either. It doesn't have to run in your family <laughs> for you to deal with that. Um, you have situational depression. You have physical depression from things inside your body that you don't understand the workings of. You don't know how things are working. And it just happens. Um, honestly, you could be depressed not having gone through anything like, you know, bad or, or scary. But, um, Anyway, all that to say, um, I had been seeing a counselor um, for a little while, and finally she told me, you're depressed. I can't prescribe you anything. You're going to have to go to your doctor for that. Well, my mother-in-law had just passed away from a prescription. You see every commercial for prescription medications that talks about 5 million side effects that can kill you. So I'm terrified to take some kind of medication for it. Um, but also I'm depressed. So it's kind of one of those moments where if you have been through that, it's hard to put one foot in front of the other and be proactive and go figure it out because you just don't feel like it. So the Lord intervened and he had intervened so many times, but he intervened. And one afternoon I dropped Annabelle off at dance. That's my daughter. And as I am, I guess about to leave, there's a front porch in the dance studio my friend melissa amos who's she's my best friend i didn't know her at the time i knew of her we were friends on facebook we knew each other but anyway so my work schedule had shifted also and i wasn't for three weeks straight i was working different days than what i had been all, always working so um melissa was teaching zumba at the time and her zumba schedule like she worked zumba on the days that i was off so now i'm off on the days that she's off so we agreed to go to lunch and just hang out and we hit it off and it was super fun. But in the process of that conversation, I remember her talking about customers that she had, friends that she had, 
that had gotten such great relief with depression and anxiety through probiotics and also being able to go to a bathroom, which was kind of an issue for me. I've also had like three colonoscopies in my life trying to figure out why I couldn't poop. Let me just say it. I just couldn't go to the bathroom. So, you know, that was miserable. Um, anyway, so I still kind of dragged my feet on it for a little while, stayed depressed for a while, finally ordered it, had my husband try it first because I was going to let him be the guinea pig. <laughs> and that sounds horrible when I think about it now. Uh, but he's just not as afraid as I am, I guess. But anyway, so Chad felt great after a couple of weeks. So I finally started taking, it was the probiotic, the pink drink, and BioCleanse. And so I'm taking all three. And about two and a half weeks in, I can remember standing at work and it was like Chrissy kind of said, like you just had that moment where it's like the sun comes out all of a sudden and you didn't know how bad off you were until you understood how suddenly good you felt. And it just came out of nowhere. And then the more I studied on it, the more I discovered somewhere between 70 to 90% of the serotonin in your body is created in your gut not in your brain. It is also created in your brain. You have neurotransmitters in your brain that have to speak to each other and communicate with each other for things to fire off correctly and for certain feel-good chemicals to be produced. Yes. But the, pres the, the depression prescription that I was prescribed, I never went and got filled. I was terrified of the side effects. I don't even think I told you all I got. I went to my doctor finally, but I did. I was terrified of the side effects. And I just wasn't going to do it. Just was not going to do it. I would have, he told me, you know, you can take this. It might take five or six different ones to, to find the right one. Um, so essentially he was telling me it would take a month really to kind of see if this was going to work for each one that I tried. So either way I could become suicidal or I could become just worse, but not suicidal or one could work. We would have to see. So then after looking back at it, looking at the way the Lord worked and, you know, brought me to a friend who had already been brought to something that brought me relief. It's, it's just a, it's, I feel like that's the way that the Lord just works in our lives. Sometimes he, he puts us in a place to serve others and to serve them well and to help them well. Um, so I started taking it and it changed my life. Um, but this is where it gets a little tougher. Two years later, two days after Christmas, um, I took a pregnancy test and I was pregnant again. I was 39 years old. Um, Chad and I were not trying um, and were a whole lot of shocked. and. Um, you know, equally blessed, you know, I mean, that's, even though you're shocked by a pregnancy sometimes, what a gift, truly what a gift. Um, but anyway, um, all, all that to say, 20 weeks goes along and I go to a 20 week ultrasound. The ultrasound is taking a long time. Um, didn't really know why. And it was just an ultrasound appointment. It was not for, it was just the, the 20 week checkup. Um, I didn't take my husband with me. Uh, we'd never had an issue at a 20 week appointment before. And he was a football coach at the time and was in the middle of spring training. Um, so I didn't want to pull him from that. But anyway, um, at that point we ended up having to go to UAB. We found out that she had a specific type of dwarfism um, called thanatophoric dysplasia, or most likely that's what she had. Basically that means that somewhere around the 16 to 19 week gestational period, um, the limbs and the abdomen stop growing. The internal organs continue to grow, um, which of course, you know, the lungs come later. So that's, that's really the issue um, is if the chest is not gonna grow, then there's not enough room to house the heart and the lungs and everything that has to be there. So, most likely she was not going to live. So that was a massively hard pill to swallow. Um, 
but I continued on with my probiotics. I was, I was able to take all of that stuff pregnant. There was no issue there. Praise the Lord. Um, and so she was born at 36 weeks and she was alive. Lots of those babies, um, die in the womb because they can't take in the proper amount of amniotic fluid. Uh, so your womb gets huge and it, they often um, just cannot survive it uh, due to cortal death. But anyway, uh, miraculously, we got to see her and got to meet her. And she lived for probably about 30 minutes. Um, and the weeks following were tough. And I remember like that, that day after she was born, you know, of course, I've been on the phone back and forth with Melissa many times, but I had been rushed to the hospital from Montgomery to UAB um, when I went into labor. And um, anyway, uh, I didn't have anything with me. So, you know, I, I'm calm Melissa going, I need my probiotics because I, I can't not have that. I cannot have the thing that helps me to not sink back into that hole. And especially with that looming. But anyway, and uh, then my husband was also on them. He's never dealt with um, depression or anything like that. Praise the Lord. Um, but anyway, um, all that to say, she came up and she brought those things. And over the next few months, looking back at it now, I should have been on the floor. I should not have been able to move. I should not have been able to function to go out places, and I say this having been in a dark place just a few years prior, knowing what it was like, but the death of my own child should have taken me down a lot harder. And so I am so thankful that all those years before, the Lord saw fit to put something in my grasp to help me through that could still help me through later in what he knew was coming. I had no idea it was coming. And right now we're kind of in a weird situation again, y'all people are in situations that they didn't see coming. And there are people that need our help in these ways and they don't want to take prescriptions. They want something natural that might work. Um, I don't tell you any of this to shove this onto you. And I, I say in, in full belief, Jesus carried me through those moments. Every one of them, every one of the hard ones, every one of the good ones. But I am so thankful to him that he brought me the tools to also help me through it from an internal system from a physical internal system, from a gut health perspective, from a friend perspective, I had gained this community of friends and women that I never knew I needed before. And that has been such a blessing in the process of this too. So there are so many people that need that. But all that to say, if you are struggling with anxiety and depression, there is hope beyond prescriptions that are scary. Am I knocking prescriptions? No. I know they work for a lot of people. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying for me, there was another answer. And for you or for your friends, there might be two. Anyway, thank y'all for letting me chat. Oh, wow. Yeah, Megan, I've heard that story before. Um, not the exact details um, that you shared. You shared some more details tonight than you have before, but thank you for being vulnerable. Um, I'm sure that that's not an easy thing and we appreciate you sharing that with us um, because I'm sure either live now or someone watches the recording, someone needs to hear that. Um, not only with prescriptions and look as a nurse, I, we prescribe things all the time and, and Western medicine is, is a gift and we're so thankful. Mm -hmm. That being said, like you, some people aren't able to take prescriptions for whatever reason, or they can't take the side effects of the prescription 
because sometimes the side effects are worse than the issue the prescription was originally intended to address. So it's great to have a natural option. Um, so thank you for sharing that. Um, and just like you said, I mean, I truly believe that, you know, being working in healthcare for decades, um, the Lord does not only provide health solutions through prescriptions or surgeries. I'm so thankful for them, but that's not the only way. So I'm convinced just like you and Crystal and Christy, um, that we are convinced that the Lord provides remedies outside of the box, you know, outside of the prescription box. My husband's an artist. And so, um, I, I, I always tell him all the time, you know, artists kind of think outside the box, you know, where I am a box liver. I like to live inside the box. That's just kind of, I think, how I was trained and, you know, how I was raised. And so Ryan's always thinking outside the box. So until Plexus, I never thought outside the box. And so um, I thought that Jesus only blessed you through a nine to five job and through prescriptions and through exercise and through eating right, which those are fantastic. But um, it can also bless you through a community that you never thought um, that you needed and that you never thought, I never knew this was here, you know? And so um, what a blessing it's been. So um, we're so thankful for y'all for joining us. Um, thank you, um, Megan, Crystal, and Christy for sharing your stories and for being vulnerable um, enough to share um, those details with us. So um, I'm going to have this recording up um, as soon as I can. And so y'all be sure and share this with your friends. Um, think of one person that um, you think um, you heard, uh, you heard someone, something said um, from someone tonight that resonates with you that you can share with someone else that you can help bring hope and happiness to them. So I love y'all. Y'all have a good night and uh, y'all stay safe. Okay.